Eight? I do eight. You do eight? I feel way better when I get eight. Yeah, six is six does not seem like a lot. Is this all the different people? Nikola Tesla got two? Yeah, but he's too busy banging pigeons. He was crazy. <laughs> he was banging he was a pigeons. Super super genius who was in love with a pigeon. What? Yeah. I never heard that. He had a love affair with a pigeon. Winston Churchill got like a hundred hours of sleep a night. Da Vinci. He was just drunk all the time. Trying to zoom in a little. Are those are those dots mean hours? Yeah, that's when they slept. Uh, like so, he slept every four hours, like a twenty minute nap. Who Thomas did? Edison did something similar too. Da Vinci did uh, that. Yeah, that's what those little blue lines are when they were sleeping Whoa. over the day. Uh, that's crazy. And Winston Churchill just slept like a bear because <laughs> he was drunk. Uh, he's just he drank like crazy. Richard Branson seems like he's getting. Does that say six? Twelve six. to six. Yeah, twelve to six. That sounds kind of reasonable. Yeah, that's reasonable. But six is early to get up for me. <laughs> well, if he's one of those get shit done, Donald, Donald Trump. Donald Trump, three hours. Yeah, one to four. One yeah. to four. One to four. Come on, that's not real. That can't be true. Is that real? So, I mean, but he's on speed. One to you four. Know, that was the speculation about Trump. Um, from uh, an article that was posted a while back, was that he had a prescription for amphetamines in like the 90s uh -huh. and someone had prescribed and see if you could find that um trump prescribed speed for diet and he <laughs> stayed on it for like eight years really yeah it's been my understanding uh -huh. when you talk to people that love adderall and and those sort of things yeah. that you become incredibly productive when you're on right. that stuff and if you're one of those people that gets used to being incredibly productive right. on that stuff, like eliminating that is very hard. Yeah. See, 1993, Harry Hunt's unauthorized biography on Trump, Lost Tycoon, corroborated the rumors and went one step further. The diet drugs, which Trump took in pill form, not only curbed his appetite, but gave him a feeling of euphoria and unlimited energy. Wow. The medical literature warned that some potentially dangerous side effect could result from long-term usage. They included anxiety, insomnia, and delusions of grandeur. What? Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> According to several Trump Organization insiders, Donald exhibited all these ominous symptoms of diet drug use and then some. The supposed drug Trump took back then was Tenuit Dospan, a drug with speed-like effects that's not unlike Dexedrine. Mm. These rumors say uh, Trump stopped seeing Dr. Greenberg decades ago, but according to one source, to our source, the Donald Trump of today is on a diet drug called Fentermine and has been since at least April of 2014. He does not look like he's on a diet. Fenfen. -fen. He's on Fenfen. Fentermine -fen first gained notori notoriety well, in yeah. the U.S. under the name Fenfen, -fen, a miracle combination of Fentermine and Fenfluramine. Nice. Another established anti-obesity drug. The only problem was that patients taking the drug became, be, began reporting damage to their hearts and lungs. Apparently, the combination destroyed patients' bodies' ability to regulate the amount of serotonin. Mm -hmm. Fentermine on its own, however, is still prescribed. And while the U.S. National Library of Medicine notes that most people take fentermine for a month or so at a time, since the drug is addictive, Trump has supposedly been taking continuously for over two years. Mm -mm -mm. Well, listen, when people get used to taking pills yeah. and speed in particular, yeah. they get used to that ramped up life. You they can't they wean can't, off it. They can't, it's very hard. It's just very hard to just go cold turkey and be that guy who's just dull now. Yeah, right, exactly. Think about how much energy he had while he was on the campaign trail. Like, t constantly speaking. Constant. Could never shut the fuck up. Right? It was really impressive. <coughs> I mean, he right. was nonstop. Right. 72-year-old well, man, 73, whatever. Doesn't it make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hillary was falling over. And I know. And <laughs> Hillary was on stuff, too. She was on uh, Pro Vigil. What's that? Pro Vigil is a drug that was first invented. They were trying to make a drug that was actually a performance enhancing drug. And then they had to come up with a reason for taking it. Because oh. uh, you can't just say, hey, we made a, a pharmaceutical drug that enhances your, uh, your, your energy levels. Uh -huh. So they came up with narcolepsy. And, oh, really? Uh, yeah. I've taken it. Oh, it's yeah? Yeah. It's great if you have to drive somewhere and you're tired. Because it doesn't, give you, it doesn't make you yeah. speedy. 
And I don't think it makes you any smarter or faster thinking or anything like right. that, but it definitely keeps you awake. He's, Gives you like a little elevated sense of energy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't sound so bad. I mean, you'd have to take something to keep up those. I mean, you know, from mm -hmm. just touring and stuff, oh, yeah. what that takes out of you. And watch how they just were nonstop. And he was probably on diet pills. Right. <clears throat> Interesting. And not getting gal, skinnier. I knew a gal got on that Fen Fen stuff. Oh, yeah? Yeah, back in the 90s. She was beautiful, but she was chubby. She just had a bad diet and, you know, yeah. just liked the booze. And she's probably 20-something right. or something. Right and uh, got on the Fen Fen, and I hadn't seen her in forever. I hadn't seen her in probably like a year. Mm -hmm. And then I ran into her, and I was like, holy shit. Like, what happened to you? Lost like, weight. Like, all of a sudden, she was like 120 pounds and slim and gorgeous. And I was like, that is crazy. So it like, What did you do? Yeah, but then it started fucking with her. Yeah. And, like, messing her body up and, you know, like, like heart palpitations and oh, shit. Oh, jeez. And, and then, you know, a year later, she was bigger than ever. Jeez. Well, yeah. I mean, if you think about, like, taking an ibuprofen, if, like, if that messes you up, mm. these drugs, the impact is huge. Oh, yeah, man. Huge. Yeah. Well, I know so many people that are on Adderall. Yeah, I was just going to say, have you ever tried Adderall? Never. Me neither. I'm scared of it, but I want to. I know, me too. I want to try it. Jamie's going to bring in some for me. You take it? No, no, no. I, I, uh, He's a dealer. Uh, may or may not. You have... sell it to children? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got a pill from a friend of mine that I wanted to use. I never even used it. Oh. Uh, and I still just have it. Yeah. Now, all this stuff really works. You of ever course. You ever take a, um Ambien? I sleep easy. I do too. I got no problem sleeping. I was doing a show in the Middle East once, and my doctor gave me Ambien. He's like, if you need help adjusting your time, I didn't ask for it. He just gave it to me. And uh, I don't really take anything, really, but I took it. It was, I mean, it just works. You're just like pretty awake, and then you just feel sleep just kind of calming over you like, like an ocean wave. <sighs> and it just, oof. I mean. How'd you feel when you woke up? Not good. A little druggy. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, it wasn't like I woke up like, oh, I'm good I'd to go. I'd rather be kind of tired and then just go to the gym. Yes, exactly. You know, I'm just not into that drugged up feeling. No, man. it's all because then you then it becomes a whole cat <laughs> yeah. and mouse trying to adjust it. And I had a buddy who was going, <clears throat> I had a buddy who was going through a divorce and couldn't sleep at all, so he was taking two of those fucking things at night, and everybody was urging him. They were like, "Hey, man, don't take that much." Yeah. Like this is this is stuff is not good for you. I'm like, always afraid you won't be able. To, yeah, you're not going to be able to sleep normally, or you don't wake up. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah, take it and night night choke in the middle of the night and just. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, jeez. And you're in the middle of some crazy dream about being in a gunfight with the cops. <laughs> That's the thing with about ambient. Ambient people uh, do things in their sleep. Yeah, like had, go, go buy ice cream. <laughs> I, have a, I had a bit about it in my act about a, a friend of mine who made a turkey. He got up in the middle of the night, preheated the oven, went to the store, bought a turkey, came home, made stuffing, mashed potatoes, and gravy, cooked it, ate it, went back to sleep, got up in the morning and called the police. <laughs> Someone broke into my house and made a turkey. And they're like, what the fuck is wrong with you, you fat piece of shit? <laughs> <laughs> like you need to come to grips with your food problem. It's a real story. It's a real story. Yeah, a real and he story. didn't remember he, he doing any turkey. of it. No, he made a turkey. Oh my! He went God. to the store, dude. Oh, yeah, like he bought a turkey. Dealt with someone at the register. He bought a fucking turkey. <laughs> Drove his car. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! This is so crazy. Yeah, people are weird, man. I'm surprised no one's like killed someone on it. Oh, they Ambien. have. They, they have? have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People have. Yeah, people have murdered people on it. And there was one guy That's, who. Jesus. He. I want to say he killed someone in his family with a crowbar. Oh, boy. It was like some crazy story where he was on Ambien and he drove to someone's house and killed him with a crowbar and then drove home. <laughs> he had no idea he even did it. Oh, my God. Well, people react to different things in different ways. Yeah. Like you can never predict exactly how someone's going to react to like heavy-duty pharmaceuticals. That's what I was worried about. I'm like, I'm not taking this on the flight. Fuck I don't. That. Who knows what I'm going to do? Freak out <laughs> yeah. in the middle of the fucking ocean. No! <laughs> how high up are we? Just wake up in prison. You don't know why. Ooh, how did I get here? <laughs> you know what you did. I don't. Having to watch the video of you. Trying to hump some businessman. <laughs> with a fucking cat in the hat hat on. Beating someone to death with a nine iron. <laughs>
uh, pushing like, the drink cart. <laughs> <laughs> Go trying to get at the pilot. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Pretending to fly. What a nightmare. Ambient what? hasn't been around that long, right? Like this right. is 2013. As I was trying to look up, <clears throat> there's something called the sleep homicidal sleepwalking defense that's been used at, at least since 1987. Jeez. Looks like it goes back farther than that. Here's the Wikipedia on it. Wow. Sleepwalking defense. Mm. Wow. Homicidal som somnambulism. Banana. -na. Or sleepwalking. <laughs> <laughs> sleepwalking murder. The act of killing someone during an episode of sleepwalking. Oh, man. See, that's the thing. Like, if you were going to kill somebody, wouldn't you be like, hey, man, I'm yeah. fucking sleeping? <laughs> yeah. He was acquitted of killing the murder of his mother in law in 1987 after using the sleepwalking defense. Now, let me just acquitted. pause right there. I would love to believe this man. However, <laughs> I have a wonderful mother in law. She's a, a lovely lady. But I have friends whose mother in laws are straight cunts. <laughs> It's a real and thing. It's a real thing. <laughs> yeah. And it's just so convenient <laughs> that this guy, he didn't kill his children. Yeah. You know, he didn't Not go his wife. drive to his buddy's house and kill his best friend. What does it say there? Reportedly got up from his bed, still asleep, and drove roughly 23 kilometers to his in-law's house, broke in, assaulted his father-in-law, Dennis Wood, and stabbed his mother-in-law to death. Wow. Wow. Good on you. After all this, he managed to drive himself to the police station. Aside from a few isolated events, the next thing he could recall was being in the police station asking for help, saying, I think I've killed some people. My hands. Whoa. Wow. Well, that's what I would do, too. If yeah. I was gonna, Go pretend. You've got to plan this out. Like, yeah. Something I blew up for you. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I went crazy, but you guys got to help me. Yeah, like if you know for sure you're going to kill them, like there's no way I can not kill this person. I need a fucking rock solid excuse. Yeah. What is this? Nonbalambalism? <laughs> and, <laughs> and then he had uh, wonderful Thanksgivings ever, <laughs> ever since then. Oh, man. To stay married after that? How's that work? Yeah, probably. And you invite She probably quietly is grateful. Yeah, the dad pulls you aside and slips you a twine. That's what I'm Better yeah. you than me, buddy. Better you than me. <laughs> yeah. It's, some people do have weird sleepwalking things, though. Sleepwalking. I did is a as weird a kid. Thing. Did you? Mm hmm Like around kindergarten, I would, uh, I would come out into the, like the living room just screaming and crying. Whoa. And not have any recollection. No, none. I did have recurring nightmares that I remember. What were they? One very clear one was, um, it was a blackness, you know, sometimes when you're sleeping and there's just like the, 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 you can feel the, the blackness, the space yes. was just very big and you felt very small in it. And, uh, there would be rumbling and it would build and, uh, and I would feel kind of pulled back a little bit in it. Got a, no, really... I'm doing it silent. Okay. And uh, and then the turrets of two tanks would slowly come into the periphery on the left and the right. Boom, 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 boom. And you see like the gun of the tank, and the, the tanks would sl slowly start going towards each other from the left and the right. And then they would fall down this hole. And you'd get that feeling of falling. Whoa. And then sometimes I'd see the face of my father. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I have dreams of falling off of things. Yeah. What's that supposed to mean? That means that you're going to get money. <laughs> Powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that good? <laughs> sometimes I do, though. Yeah. Sometimes I have dreams where I'm like catching myself, like I'm on a tree. Like, oh, Jesus. Yeah, but yeah. Too high up this tree. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. What am I doing on the edge of this building? What am I doing on the cliff? Get back to the safe spot. Get back to the safe spot. So I wouldn't connect the dream to the sleepwalking, but. What do you think it is? I mean, I don't know. It could have been connected. Come on, dude. You're a doctor. But I was. Uh, <laughs> I remember one time I was at my friend's sleeping over my friend's house, and the next morning they were like, Tommy can't sleep here anymore. Because I did it at their house. 
where they're just asleep and then you got some kids screaming in the middle screaming of the night. in the middle and crying and screaming in the middle of the living yeah, room. Yeah, but I've had kids do that at my house. You have? Yeah. You pick them up and you go, "You okay?" <laughs> yeah, well, you then... bring them to the bed. <laughs> You know, it's the one thing okay? once you have kids too, man. It's it's so hard it's so for people simple. that don't have kids to understand this. But like, yeah, you know, it's when I I've said this before. But when I was on planes before, I would be bummed out if a kid was crying. Yes. Like, oh, fucking great! This is a lot of fun. Yeah, fucking loud, stupid kid. Quiet your kid up. Yep. But now I'm like, ah, poor little kid. Yeah. Like it doesn't. Uh, it does, you don't even hear it. But it doesn't bother me. No. Like like I'm upset. I can't sleep. It's like, oh, no. poor little kid. Yeah, like, you once look you at kids so different once you have complete, them. and the parents you 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 uh, have empathy for the parents. Like you're like, yeah. oh, I've been there. Yeah. What you're going through, that thing is yeah. just so rough. And it, but it really is an instinct. Like there is there is no like when you hear a baby crying on a plane. There's not that thing when you had when you were younger. It's just like get it out of here. Yeah, that's a weird thing that people do have. Like I've yeah. seen it before where like young boys in particular do, do not like babies. No. They don't like kids and they're around them like, "Oh." Yeah. They roll their eyes and it's like to them. It's an instinct. Yeah. And then once you the have them, you would just like but it's funny when you see like teenage boys around them. Yeah. Especially ones that haven't been raised around kids. Maybe it's the instinct that they're going to have to uh one day take care of one of those. Yeah. Yeah, and the party's gonna end. They're gonna trap, be trapped. The party's gonna end. And then it's funny because like there are these chapters. It's like this is all coming full circle to what we're talking about with like Richard Branson on a boat mm -hmm. getting his dick sucked doing coke. <laughs> <laughs> but but here's the thing. There's a cycle, and if you hang in there long enough, it becomes cool again. Like if you're hammered and mm -hmm. you're 20 and you're out there having a party, it's kind of silly and it's fun. But if you're hammered. And you're 60, it's kind of sad. Yeah. But if you're hammered and you're 90, it's funny again. <laughs> yeah, right? absolutely. You just got to hang absolutely. in there. Absolutely. But if you're a 90-year-old drunk, I go, how about you all just <laughs> suck my dick? <laughs> Which, by the way, uh, apparently the latest in the sexual harassment Olympics, uh -huh. the latest uh, entry is Stan Lee from Marvel Comics. Really? He's, yeah, he's 95 years old. Yeah. He lives in some giant mansion, and he has a bunch of nurses. He's trying to get them all to blow him. Yeah, of course. Now he says it's a shakedown. He says uh -huh. they're all they're all just trying to get money from him, uh, which may very well be the case. Geez. Or it may well very well be the case that he is like a lot of ninety-five year old dudes with twenty million bucks in the bank and about six months to live. Just getting it on. What do you do? You try, you go for it. You swing those fucking <laughs> dice. Come on, seven. <laughs> Woo! Stanley. I mean, if he really can, if he, you know what I mean? Yeah. Look, if you're worth. Well, hold on. Go back to that. What does it say there? He Okay. He bought someone. Then it was revealed that someone had bought an $850,000 condo in his name without his knowledge. Yeah, that was last week. I don't know if you heard oh, about that. No, what happened? He filed a police report after discovering that someone had stolen $300,000 from him. Wow. Using a forged check. And then it was revealed that someone bought uh, an $850,000 condo in his name without his knowledge. A fact what? that came to light when his team did a full audit of his accounts following the forged check. Whether this is any way related, okay. This so he guy, might be he might be being honest. This might be in reaction yeah, to the shakedown. The shakedown. But this guy has so oh. much money that someone bought an eight hundred and fifty thousand dollar condo in his name, and he didn't learn about it until they were going over the books. <laughs> well, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't learn about it until they found a three hundred thousand dollar stolen check. Yeah, that's a baller. Yeah. Stanley Lee balling out of control. Superhero. Out there kicking some fucking ass. <laughs> ah! Superhero! <clears throat> yeah, I'd like to think that he's not the, the guy who's trying to tell these maids to suck his dick. Nah, I doubt it. I'd like to think that. Me too. I want some heroes left. at all.